So what we are going to be doing now is what we call protozoa. Repeat after me, protozoa. Now, the first thing you have to understand on protozoa is that they are divided into two major what parts. One is proto, and the other is what zoa. Now, proto means primitive. Anyway, you come across the word proto. Proto means what? Primitive. Why zoa means what? Animal in biology. Are you getting that? So proto means primitive. Zoa means animals. So we now define protozoa as primitive animals, meaning that they are animals that can only be seen with the aid of microscope. That's the meaning of that primitive. Then, are we getting that? Now from here, if you are talking about protozoa, we have other examples of protozoa. Examples like amoeba is a protozoa. Paramecium is a protozoa. Plasmodium is also what? A protozoa. We have the Chlamydomonas, we have the Spirogera, and many more. They are all what? Protozoa. Now, if they ask you that what are the general features or characteristics of protozoa? Very simple. Number one, start from this. They are unicellular, which means that they have what? One single cell. And also, they are also primitive. Don't forget, protozoa are unicellular and primitive animal. Now, apart from this, we can now say that protozoa, they reproduce by two ways. Number one, they reproduce sexually and asexually. Now, um, uh, protozoa reproduce sexually by what? The process called syngamy. Syngamy. Don't forget, this is a sexual reproduction that takes place in, in protozoa. Now, they reproduce what? By syngamy. Now, protozoa reproduce asexually now by the process majorly known as binary fission. binary fission. Now, we now have other asexual uh, reproduction that takes place in protozoa, in which I'm going to discuss that after discussing all this. So now, another feature of protozoa is that they are majorly cosmopolitan. Meaning that they majorly exist in a wetry environment. If you have an environment that is wetry, protozoas always live what? Live there. They are majorly what? Cosmopolitan. Meaning, they stay in a wetry environment. They stay in, a, in an environment that has water. That's the meaning of that cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan. So they can ask you that, ah, protozoa, are they cosmopolitan or not? Yes, they are what? Cosmopolitan. We need to live in a wetry environment. Another thing you must know under this um, protozoa is while talking about their sexual parts, we have the binary fission and we have other sexual reproduction that takes place in protozoa. Other sexual reproductions are one, we have what we call the sporogony, we have budding, we have excitement. Are you getting that? Now we have schizogony, we have endodiogeny, endopoliogeny. And we have what the plastogamy. So these are the what the asexual reproduction that takes place in what in protozoa. So there are majorly eight asexual reproductions in protozoa. Now the classes of protozoa. So protozoa majorly has five classes, which are the mysophora, sarco mastigophora, apicomplexa, microspora, and the what ciliophora. So these are the five major classes. Of protozoa. So let's say you are asked that amoeba belongs to what class of protozoa? Amoeba belongs to the sarcodina because this sarcomastigophora is further divided into two. We now have the sarcodina and the mastigophora. So amoeba belongs to the class of to the order of what sarcodina and uglena belongs to what mastigophora. For better understanding,
for better understanding, let me list the other asexual reproduction in protozoa. Number one, we have what we call the schizogony. One, two, we have what we call body. TV, we have what we call incitement. Then four, we have what we call sporogony. Number five, we have what we call the endodiogeny. Number six, we have what we call the endopoly. And the last one is number six, and the last one is number seven. We have what we call the the plasto gun. Plasto gun. Then the number eight. Number eight now. We have what we call the what? The binary fission. The binary binary fission. Now these are the asexual reproduction that takes place in protozoa. So if you look at this very well, you will notice that amoeba undergo what binary fission. Alright. Now these are the asexual reproduction. Number one, schizogony, boarding, incitement, sporogony, endodiogeny, endopoliogeny, plastogamy, and what binary fission.